Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the mu opioid receptor. As an EMT in the Buffalo area, I have seen a lot of heroin overdoses. It is considered to be an epidemic with over 300 deaths per year in the county. Fortunately, Erie County has been working to make a drug called Narcan freely available to the public. This drug is an antagonist to the mu opioid receptor which, when administered, immediately begins to reverse the effects of heroin. It has saved many people who are in respiratory distress due to overdose. Because of its success in current spotlight, I chose to study the protein and the way it works further. In order to lighten the mood, the rest of this video will be presented in the style of a preview for The Bachelorette, where Narcan and heroin will duke it out for mu opioid receptors love. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, and welcome to this preview of The Bachelorette, Molecule Edition, season finale. I'm your host, let's meet our beautiful Bachelorette. And here she is, this is Mu Opioid Receptor. Shown here in her two-fold dimer through a four helix bundle motif, she is also pictured with her friends sulfate and chlorine ion. Her crystal structure was taken with the aid of irreversible antagonist Beta FNA. She lives in the central nervous system with houses in the cerebral cortex, periaqueductal gray region, and superficial dorsal horn of the spinal cord. Her most important features include her seven alpha helices and her transmembrane hydrophobic region. Her binding pocket includes aspartate 147, tyrosine 148, histidine 297, and lysine 233. Aspartate 147 forms an ionic bond with the substrate, and the others typically form hydrogen bonds. When activated, her day job involves mediating neuronal excitability by decreasing the release of GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, an amino acid that acts as a neurotransmitter. This results in an increase in the release of dopamine. This is done by activation of the G proteins by reduction of cyclic AMP which leads to a suppression of sodium and calcium channels. This results in analgesia, sedation, decreased respiration, and a decrease in blood pressure. She also plays an important role in the mechanisms of opioid addiction. And now to our bachelors. Diacetylmorphine, or as his friends call him, heroin, is a 21 carbon molecule with the formula C21, H23, NO5. He's fast acting, smooth, and has an addictive personality. And his competitor, naloxone, often called by the brand name Narcan, is a 19 carbon molecule with the formula C19, H21, NO4. He likes being the hero and getting people back on their feet. Now, how about their relationships? Well, heroin is a full agonist, and when bound to mu opioid receptor's ligand pocket, he binds at both the affinity and activity zone, causing mu opioid receptor to decrease the release of GABA. When mu opioid receptor sees him a lot, however, it takes more and more attention to get the same response out of her. This is due to an increased tolerance level in which the opioid receptor undergoes changes that result in decreased activation by the presence of opioids but leaving him can cause the body to go through withdrawal symptoms such as restlessness, muscle and bone pain, insomnia, and vomiting. Narcan has an even higher affinity for mu opioid receptor, so it's easy for him to kick heroin right out. But his structure only binds to the affinity zone of mu opioid receptor, not her activity zone. Because of this, his effect is only observable when heroin or another opioid is present. Therefore, he is usually only present in the body when a dangerous level of opioids is also present. The effects of Narcan are dependent upon the concentration of opioids in the system, but often when administered, it results in the reversal of opioid activation and can be used to help fight respiratory arrest. Narcan only binds to mu opioid receptors for a short time, and his effects typically begin to wear off in about 20 minutes. This is why, when a patient overdoses on heroin, Narcan is administered often and in high doses. Well, that concludes this preview. Will Narcan be able to keep up a long-term relationship? 
Will heroin's addictive personality pull mu opioid receptor back in? Tune in to next week's episode of The Bachelorette, Molecule Edition, to find out.